We no afraid, we no see no one where we afraid of. We no afraid, we no see no one where we afraid of. Yeah, this is Everton Blender. And it's all about the young police from Jamaica. Seeing young police channel. Big up yourself. Everton Blender said that. We no afraid, we no see no one where we afraid of. Blessed love, Rastafari. Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers, subscribers and Patreon members. At the channel, we are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen. But not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because they save lives. This is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives at this channel. We at the channel aid criminals with a passion and do not want them over here. We do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you to go to prison or the departure lounge at Madden. Moving on to today's video yeah so as we continue our journey this is part part three of the nine part series you know um you know you know exposing ratigan hopes to weaken in the current jamaican administration and leave a vacuum of power that he and his political allies can exploit it has strategy it has strategy as old as time destabilize divide and then seize control but this kind of manipulation has no place in Jamaican diaspora. And it's time for people to see through the facade. This man is dangerous. This man is an enemy of Jamaican people and the Jamaican um, government. This man can be a friend of Jamaica. If you are trying to destabilize the Jamaican economy and the government, I people in my own for earth. So you are trying to do that now for political gain. You don't love Jamaica Virgin. Yeah, evil man. Yeah, Satan child himself. What a evil us man. So the revelation about um, Wilfred Rattigan tactic, tactics show a disturbing agenda aim at destabilizing Jamaica and uh, exploiting the diaspora for personal and political gains. So everything that this man has been doing is what's in it for me. No love for Jamaica. So we'll continue the journey. So this is part three of a nine part series. You watch, you listen. And that was affiliated with different parties. This is what I was privy to. Which, so right. which, which, what's, what's the name of the other so, so the senior, senior superintendent? Who? I can't recall his name right now. I'm just just letting you know. This is... Uh, uh, and, and, and since then, last year, mm -hmm. um, I went down and we now have a security academy that we run the first class through um, at Perfect Place. And so we had a good amount of officers from the police, from the customs, um, from um, the army. Is it, it, what, these are active duty people or people who are retired? Act, active duty. So, active oh, okay, duty. so it's a class that is taught um, on, um, on behalf of the Jamaican government to these people? So, yeah, we got certification from the Commissioner of Police. Oh, so okay, so you guys are contractors. Uh, so you guys are contractors that are teaching um, these members. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So uh, so you getting paid from the Jamaican government? No, he, they. No, 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 the, no. So what? Well, yeah, which are the part? No, uh, I am. Uh, I'm asking. As well as civilian. No, no, I'm asking. Uh, you guys reserve certification from the Commissioner of Police. So I'm asking if you guys getting paid from the government to teach these classes. Yeah, the government had to pay us. Okay, so and so 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 you so you so, so, so you the, okay, uh, so basically so so, so but you so so you guys are lobbying the Jamaican government to make money then. This this is something that we did. No, that look here, um, my English brother, English. my brother, that is uh, not pay, that what what you do what are. Uh, if you are a patriot and you're doing something, say you, you're trying to build back your country, you're not supposed to build back your country on the backs of the, of the taxpayers. You're supposed to do it 
Mm-hmm. Voluntarily, you're supposed to add when I went down, as PH I as a patriot. So everything. So look here. When, so everything. When other guys, oh, 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 um, no, we're not talking about other guys. So everything that you people are doing, it's all about what's in it for me. No I, man, you see, you 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 think that when people have to travel, when people come and have to do hotels, when the, everything they have to do, you think they. They can withstand all of that. Well, that uh, uh, okay. Well, that is well. That, well, look here. That is totally different. If you uh, if for reimbursement or or just uh, just like how when you're in the minute. Well, 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 or you can claim that the per yeah. yes. So that would that, that would be more acceptable. That you know you ask um this is your trip and you expect them to pay this amount. That's you, because what you're doing, you're not doing it to make money. You're doing it to help the Jamaican government to uh, restore back the country. You're not doing it at the box of the taxpayers. That is patriotism. But so what you people are doing is all about what's in it for me. It's all about making money. And to me that uh, you know that is just that's not a, that is not patriotic at all. I want I want you to find a Jamaican mm-hmm. security organization, a Jamaican owned in the United States, in Canada, or in the UK, or anywhere. Mm-hmm. I can go down and do the type of training that we presented. What, so what 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 kind of training that you guys presented to these people? The executive protection. As what, well as what, what you're talking about? You're talking about the training, like what the, the Secret Service. Um, yes, is, yes. Okay, so uh, so uh, let me ask you. So you people, you, you are certified as a Secret Service um, trainee in America. The no, 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 no. no. The, the I'm asking. I am asking. Hold on, hold on. That's just what I'm saying. That's just what I'm saying. We I am, all go to. Oh, hold on, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, hold on. That's just what I'm saying. Listen, and, and this is no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, man. That's just the question that I'm asking. You. I'm asking okay. you if you, if you have the certification of a Secret Service trainer in the United States of America, is it a yes or no? We do not have. No, no, no. It's not. No, no, I'm not talking about we. we I am asking. Uh, no, I am asking you. Train. I'm asking you if you have if you have that required that certification to say that you're a certified trainer of Secret Service agents in America. No, no, I'm not certified to train. So, oh, so uh, okay. So, oh, so, oh, now, so, oh, now, um. Sell something to the government in which you, you guys don't have certification. Do you understand the American system? I mean, if I understand, I'm still work for Uncle Sam. I told you already that I work for the federal government. I was in the military. I was in the, was in the uh, government. The, the, what I'm saying to you is, I, uh, let me, you look here. I work for the large. I work for the Department of Defense. When I, you are at the FBI, where you wherever you are, all the training is a designated by uh, codes and and you get parts of training here and there that you touch on each of these agencies so okay so so you want to tell me that in DOD look here so when you say to me are you certified can we teach certain classes to secret service that secret service yes Financial courses and other courses that Secret Service need fin- to show money well, 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 laundering, to show um, you know. Oh, 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 Secret oh, Service! Oh, Secret Service agent have anything to do with money laundering? And they are not investigators when they are just um, close protection officers. You are talking about no, 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 no. This where you missed the point again, brother. Secret Service investigators. Investigate money laundering. They investigate counterfeiting. Yes, they but, but a yes, lot of things I know. I am not, not. I am not talking yeah. about in America. I'm talking about in Jamaica because close protection officers in Jamaica they work at protective service. What they, they don't investigate. They don't do that kind of in investigation. The course that we taught in Jamaica was close protection. That's that's what the ones we taught, and we learn all of that stuff. Mm-hmm. Whether we were in special operations, right? 
whether we were in the FBI, whether we were at CIA or wherever we were, you learn about close protection. You learn about interrogation. You learn all kinds of different things in those different agencies. Yeah, but look here. The, uh, uh, when it come on to interrogation... You, you are asking look. us to go down and not recover the monies that we spent to come. No, we don't have to recover the money. We don't have to use it, don't have to use it as a way to make money. We're recovering all of it. Not even half of it. No. Um, of us, no, the, look here, the government. The, no, the motive, the motive is all about to make money. The motive is not patriotic. It's not. It's if it not, was, if no, if it was, wrong. if it, no, it's I mean me wrong. Man. No, look here. If it was patriotic, you would not be charging the government. You'd be asking for reimbursement if you, if you want to give your service to make Jamaica a better charging place. Charging reimbursement, what, what's the difference? No, it, uh, no, because the reimbursement is not, is not, is not a profit thing. What you're doing, you're doing it for profit. You're not doing it Wait, because. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask for some billion that from that initial one. Mm -hmm. I because nobody came out to there with any portion of money that you can say they made a month's salary or a week's salary. Yeah. Right? Well in, 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 you know once you're the something once you're doing something and it's for profit is you know for profit is not profit a capitalist system, you know. When you're patriotic you're not doing it for money. Even a capitalist system. Yes, that's Whenever what I'm telling you. Yes, if that's what I'm saying. Right now, I got an invitation to come down to Florida mm -hmm. from a, a private detective agency to come and speak at their cyber conference. Yeah, but yeah, but private detective and, that that, and, that and, have and, nothing and, to do with the government. That a private. That's why it named private. So that's a PI thing. So you know, so nothing is wrong for because that's totally comes, different. A bunch of Florida state comes there, state police, mm -hmm. and different counties and different police departments show up. Mm. They come to it. Yeah, but There's we're, we're talking thing. about... Right, look here. I work for Booz Allen, seven years. Okay, look here. So I get training from Booz Allen as well. Okay, look here. <laughs> what, what I'm saying, Anim, what I'm yeah. saying, all of these things that you're talking about, um, training, this and that, in no matter how amount of training that people um um receive it's all is a result at the end of the day as to me as to me i have a link all right look here i have things right right now if the government implemented the commission and police implemented along uh, along with the government them can reduce crime by at least 20 percent in one month simple like, like what give me an example no i'm not gonna share me not share my things with people and everything like, look here i will share i will all right i will share i will share things with the art uh, I, I have no problem sharing things with, with my audience about you know the things them um, because I have I have my legacy in Jamaica, you know. You understand? I, I wanna hear you talk more about that. I can't do listen to your program. My my leg no, my, I, my, my legacy my legacy is in the police force right now. Still there. I'll do it I'll do the police so force know, they cannot the, the, would, like you're just a disgruntled police officer who left Jamaica. No man, I am not a disgruntled police officer. Of course lonesome call you um, by some other names. No man, tell me right. what I'm saying. No, look here. You can anything that ugly some said about me, you can say it. I, I can defend myself. I have defend right, look here, I have spoken to Isaac Buckle and Well on well on I had spoken to the uh, he, what, he, uh, young lady. And, and let me I'm ask you now. Let me ask you and alright, so you let me ask you now. You believe you believe what um what he has said about that? Yes or no? I don't want you to say no. anything you don't believe. No. So if, okay, but so so why I repeat I it then? I know they specialize in tearing people down. Well, you don't have to tell and me that. Me know that a PMP community my born and grow, and I can't tell you this. Um, uh, and I can't tell you this. The only reason, the only reason why I haven't sued him, um, is because he don't have the means to, to pay me. You understand what I'm saying? After after um, all right. My utter, my my utter. Uh, I don't know. You, you say you. you I say you said that you um, you used to work for the. I don't know if contractors have access to it, but you, I don't know if you know about um, federal league, um, MetLife Legal. You know about MetLife Legal? The MetLife Legal, and you also have the um, the other one. They were, fact, we're just talking about federal. Le yeah, federal legal planter. Yeah, man. 
you have to have that kind of coverage, you know, when you're in our business. Yeah, so, uh, okay, so... So, I will deal to a certain point. Yeah, yes, they will defend you, they will defend you in, in court and stuff like that for anything. But the thing is that now, right. the thing is that the only reason I haven't sued him, sue him for that because he doesn't have it. He doesn't have crap. The only, the little place that he have in Canada is re- registers a non-profit within himself and his woman. Right. Angie. So he doesn't have he anything. Has a, so, he has an upscale house. Right? He has other things, other assets. Well, Studio assets. Yes. Right. So you know. So you, you want to shut him down? You soon. Well, all right. Well, all right. That, that's the only reason why we never went after him because him don't really have the the capital unless we have to go out and make them sell. Well, hey, look here. We need for we need for really lock him down on them thing. There. But look here. Ongo, that's ongo, what I'm that, trying. To, uh, oh, yes. You know, I mean, he said some shit about me, and he, this man don't know me from Adam. Yeah, he but only know him less than a year. Hmm. But you have to understand, remember, so the man is a criminal, you know. He's a convicted criminal. The man the man is a big informer, you know. Yep. Mm. He, there, there was a police guy there, a guy from JCF that was a police officer now in, in uh, York um, Police Department in Canada. Mm-hmm. And um, just, I went to the thing and he was there and he kept saying, I am in source. And I say, okay, we'll talk afterwards, right? Mm-hmm. Because you know, we were there on a mission to to get people to um, recognize that they need to take charge of their own futures. Mm-hmm. They are the diaspora. They not should not be an extension of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs by any government. Yes, but but the di- the, the, the the one that edited by Clovis Nelson, it has nothing to do with the government. So when they are talking, when so when they are propagating, saying that it has something to do with the government, that is also another um, PR lies. And see well. everything. And ah, uh, look. So so you so you you know about the three hundred dollars that they got to give the, the demonstrators in America and the um, New York and DC and they rob them. They don't give them hundred dollars. Yeah, but but don't don't listen to that. No. To that. So why so so why they rob the, the, so why they rob the people? When, that, that's something. Propagated by Ratigan. So right. hold on, hold on. So Ratigan, uh, so Ratigan is the one that get the three hundred dollars and give them a hundred dollars or what? Well, it, it's 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 more money than that. It's Never more it's, it it's more than three hundred dollars that the people should have received. Yeah, more than three hundred bucks. Each each um, of the each of the demonstrators. Ratigan didn't tell the people that he personally got two hundred dollars US from the same source. Two hundred thousand. 200, 200, right? The source that he was trying to make look bad, right? He said the money was meant for him. He said it on one of his shows. So he took the, all of the money and for himself? I can defend himself against that because the money was not meant for him. It was, see, when you lose your father and you have in problems with your sick mom and you have to have a, a nurse and all this stuff this guy from Jamaica who understood the situation the guy was in took care of him right he took care of him that famous brown paper bag they talk about <laughs> was him, right oh that's now, it what's, what's his name uh, what's his name Carlos or something like that yeah what, what's his so name? Ratika was trying to make it seem like the brown paper bag was really for him. Oh, for, 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 oh, for Carlos or for Ratigan? For Ratigan, yeah. So, so who stole the paper bag? Is it, oh, okay, so Carlos is the one that stole the paper bag. This is what we're trying to get, to get across to the people. Nobody stole it. <laughs> it went to the person who was in war. So what are they? tried to <coughs> add the story so that it made the guy look bad. So hold on, let me ask you something now. So, all right. So, Carlos is a part of your group, uh, and 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 um, Francis the and Rupert. Part of the call to action group. So oh so so okay and so and Ratigan and Lonesome they are part of they they, they are um like Batty and Chimba. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Believe but, it that, that. Birds of the Ratigan same feather flock together. The ones make a legal defense foundation, mm-hmm. which is where. Money that we promoted 
and people make contributions. That's where the money goes to. The one Jamaica Legal Defense Foundation. Okay. Well, let me ask you now. It's fine for us to use the court system to correct the political system. Yeah, but the court. Uh, yeah, okay. All right, but look here now. now I'm going to say this now to you. Uh, you and you and uh, okay, you say you left Jamaica uh, 53 years ago, and I'm going to tell you this now. So the only reason the only reason why you would pursue the court system is because all of you know that the court is all jammed with PMP criminal organization activists. Jamaica and the judiciary is a criminal. You know, so the the, the, the the people in the courts they are all criminals, criminal minded people. Chief Justice Brian Lego Sykes is more PMP than Michael Manley. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, but most people don't know that you know, because he was out there campaigning for baby Trump for murderers and you know that they have the people them like dummies telling people that murder used to be minimum maximum. When I was growing up in Jamaica, even as a police officer, murder is murder. Is the PMP criminal organization and the GLP after Edward Seago exit political poli um, um, the, poli the political arena, them start to dismantle the system and make it more beneficial for criminals. In which we know that 98 percent of the people who are in prison for violent crime are, P are people affiliated with the pmp criminal organization are leaning are from pmp criminal organization communities so they do not me but, uh, let me ask you this yes how do you propose to correct that to change it okay all right the, the only the first thing you have to do to change the system in jamaica when it come on to even criminality you have to institute reading in my community where I'm from, in Jonestown and Concrete Jungle, the, the book that they're supposed to be using is the philosophy and opinion of Marcus Giave. That's supposed to be like a Bible. In from basic school, I don't know, I know say Jamaica is an American colony without American benefits. So you know that basic school, they might call it all kindergarten, you know, and them because Jamaica, Jamaica is not a, le a country that lead anymore, they follow. Everything when them say America, do, them do it. America are lick, lick out um, body. Them are do it down there. And anything where white people do, them do it down there. So maybe them are get rid of basic school and I call it kindergarten. That's the book we're supposed to use. Once the philosophy and opinion of Marcus Gavin and all of Marcus Gavin's teachings have been instituted from basic school all the way to high school, the mindset of the people will, be ch will, will change. People will start to love each other and see each other as them see themselves in another person. You know that the PMP criminal organization never, you know, so, you know, all right, look here. I'm not sure. I yes, I, I belong to the Institute of the Caribbean Studies. Well, and Dr. Well, 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 I saw, I saw, let you, I saw, let you, um, you know, you, you, you interject when you come on to that. Once right. they institute that form of reading, it mandatory, I you teach them from kindergarten all the way up. That's we get rid of the violence. And stop telling you, stop putting people like George Pang, Beanie Man, and all of these people who kill people on a pedestal. We see that, uh, you know that Bogle is my cousin, my blood cousin. Biological, right. yes. And you know that Beanie Man is the man who is responsible for killing Bogle. Well, he never be any trigger, you know, but he's the one that behind it. I, I have people who was related to Angela Brownberg, who, that I see him, um, Tony Brown, you know, um, most wanted man in a Jamaica. His daughter, who's a member of parliament, her first cousin, who's intimately involved. When I say involved, that was there when they were planning to kill Bogo. Call me and tell me everything. I'm a it. You understand? I just don't release it as yet. And him say I'm afraid because him can't defend it. And when you see, when you say the PMP, you know, nominate George, George Pang, who killed 144 people at even tide. Um, you, have, you have the Gold Street Massacre and then you have Orange Street Massacre. A PMP killing them, that you know. And they nominate George Pang. And then um, Bo and, 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 and Beanie Man for National Award. What kind of message are you sent to the youth? They tell you to tell them to become criminal and murderers. And then you see the Prime Minister of Jamaica, Ogot Beanie Man. What kind of message are you sent to the people, the youths? Them? The youth them in their community, they must say, you know, say, oh, what? I him kill Bogle and look there. I Prime Minister, hug him up. What for the are you now for no one for at, um, to attain that level as being a man? For kill an icon okay, and a treasure? Let me ask you this though. Mm -hmm. I will take all of that as a given. Yes. That you have to change the mentality of the youth. Yeah, the mindset. But at the same time, mm -hmm. how do you prevent the political system, the executive and the legislature, from totally corrupting the country? 
right? When you have smart lawyers that you can get to take the system and use the system to impeach or prevent the political side from running away with things. This is what you're going to have to do. You have to take the monies out there that you can collect. Monies that you can get donated. Right? You have to take those monies and employ, you see, just like oh, you feel strongly as a police officer. You have lawyers who feel the same way. Mm -hmm. And they have the same convictions and beliefs like you. But they want to take it in the court and stop the government from doing the crap that they're doing. It don't matter whether it's a PNP or GLP. When they get in there, they all see money. Okay, so let me... All right, all right. The kind of money... How much money was involved in Trafigura scandal? $33 million. Okay, compare that to the SSL. Yeah, but the government not have anything to do with SSL. Oh, oh, come by the government. Uh, uh, SSL is a private I, I, entity. I'm just saying, when you compare... No, you cannot, no, you cannot compare Apple with Orange. You're you talking about, look here. You're talking about the corruption. Oh, hold, hold, hold on, hold on. No, we not, you know, matter if I even want dollar, corruption or corruption. SSL, right, SSL, hold on, SSL and traffic are two different, different, different things. SSL, SSL is a private entity where thief Hussein bought money. I know, and the woman, the woman, uh, well, it had three well, Jamaican ministries money in there. Listen, li in hold on, hold on, listen what I'm saying in, in regards to the SSL thing. The right. woman, the woman who is arrested and charged with it, we don't say she alone in it, Pantan. Her father, right. may I, t I tell you, may I tell you, listen, listen, man, listen, listen. Her father, her father is a known, is a known PMP criminal organization activist and supporter. He was appointed as chaplain for police force when he didn't have no, no certification or anything by PJ Patterson. And one thing with the PMP, them not gain a, them not gain a post unless you involved in a criminality. So this woman, is sees a PMP criminal organization activist at SSL. It has nothing to do with the government, so you can't talk about SSL and traffic euro. Traffic euro corruption in which them get bribed from a foreign entity. SSL na una government, una Jamaican government benefit from SSL. Name one person in a, in a, in a government. These are the least. Name one. Look here. This the is, Prime Minister. Which part of the Prime Minister benefit from it? Okay, how did he build that house? Now ask oh how he benefit from it. No, that's just bad. No, that's a straight bad. A straight but That is straight bad mind. PMP criminal thing that again with no, no, Michael no, no, Mann, no, no. a bad mind that no, me, hey, look, no, of course uh, the who, who institute bad mind in our Jamaican people. Who say if you have two care and gear next man? It was it was did, did you, was did it was you know that no 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 not try look here look here look no look here no. is it is it is it is it is it Edward is it Edward Siaga that is it Edward Siaga that teach the people them say if you have two care if you give your neighbor one or Michael Mann, who did that? Who institute, who institute bad mind and instill it in our people's their mind in Jamaica? Brother, you cannot. May I ask you? No, 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 brother. Me, may I ask you? Who insult? Who who ingrate? Who impart that culture to the Jamaican people? The bad mind culture. If you have to care, forgive them one. Who did? Who did that? That would have come under a socialist system. Me not talk about a socialist. May I ask you who is responsible for that? Come under uh, the, the, the Michael Manley was okay. A socialist. Okay, so I'm straight bad mind that man. Me not, hey, look here. I, I, may I tell you this? Yeah, but, listen, but listen, but, listen, listen, listen what I'm saying. Listen what I'm saying, my it, brother. Look here. You see me, you know? I may I tell you brother, this now. Let's listen what I'm saying. Well, I'm not listening what I'm saying. I'm born and grow and get to one of them things. I have no problem of. I don't have no problem how people make them money. You see, from one, you know, from you, um, you know, come, you, you, you know, kill people and all of them things if you make your money. I don't have a problem with that. I don't be so a man who make him house because we know how, how the system is designed. Whether or not you want to believe, as them say, even in America, if American political system w w was truthful, this entire system would have crashed because of lies it be land. In regards to the Prime Minister building the house, I don't know how he built it and I am not going to assume say, boy, I decide that. I know so the PMP is a corrupt and a bad mind organization. I mean, I tell you this from a police perspective. 
When ah. Colonel, just listen, may I tell you this man? When Colonel Trevor McMillan, the man mm. who's the architect of the Green Bay killing, because I saw him get the, in IPMP, you know, you get reward for commit crime, you know. So when I talk about Rupert Francis, I don't, hey, look here, I don't care about the guy and them thing there, you know. I never like Colonel Trevor McMillan. When I'm a commissioner of police, I three times people black road for me and all of them things. And back then, when them black road for me when McMillan, you go on suspension. I never go on suspension because my shooting is justifiable. I don't believe in a using um, deadly force on, um, illegally. Anytime I do it, I use it justifiable. And it, the same ugly summer you attack. You know how many, you know many people you bring panic for so much murder I commit? You ever listen to me and hear him say that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, you hear my being all people say them work with me and me kill all man in them sleep. I went time all of them things in the work, I saw them come out with um this woman, a brother named Futa Hype and all of them things. Um say me a rape little girl and them things. But as we well, say Uncle Dummy alone would I believe that because anything in life, you have a thing on him. Time, yeah all right. you you was a military man, you know what I say? Day, date, time, place, and a name of complainant or a person. There's none, none of that. All them I do is speculate, but we want to see my passport. Ugly some dunce like batting her seven times in the police test and failing you know? her. Seven times. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, in terms of when you talk about with, with, this bad mind, with this bad mind culture and them things, where Michael Mann is ingraining our people, them. I don't, I don't, subs I don't, hey, look here. As I tell you about with the police and them things and the PMP with Macmillan. So, what they did now, I'm going to show you know, how people stay, you know, them, them can't think. And them bad mind. So you'd have police and them thing there. I'm not saying that they weren't corrupt, you know. But as we say on them thing there, the rule of law, you know, you can't you can't say a man guilty without the infamy without you have credible information. So that was back then. A man police him a corporal or acting corporal, him have us uptown, you know. But you couldn't do him anything about it. So what the PMP did now, them use Macmillan now. And them put them up, create a eat a division in a police force they have never never. So once them feel like say, once them once you live up town as a policeman and you know your um your wife might be a bank manager or she or teller or something and you know some most high police them and them thing there married to women where from up town back down but them have money but the police themselves have money too. So them put them in one place name never never. Where them say boy, where the police them come by, the assets where them have them them pay can them pay cannot them can't afford to live in a them kind of community and the care of them where they might drive and they know even them business. I saw them that I want to reason. Hold on a second, I gotta switch phone. This one go die, die. You can hear me? Yeah man, yeah. yeah. Why well, is that you have me on a conference man? Alright, we're good. Mm. Why well, you have me you have me on a conference today? No, 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 this is the house phone. No, man, so, yeah. I look here, nothing, nothing is wrong with that, man. I look here, I'm a transparent person. Anything of me saying, anything that I have said, I have no problem for it to be. I don't, as I'm saying, I have nothing to hide. You understand what I'm saying? Me never owe nobody, me not thief nobody, so I don't have to hide. You understand what I'm saying? If you look on the thing, it's not a conference call. No, nah, man, look here, it don't really matter. But listen to what I'm saying in regards to uh, when I talk about... um. The bad mind thing. So what they create. So we have come to the end of part three of this nine parts um, docu series. You know, exposing the corruption. You know, of the diaspora um, break up, break up, um, fake diaspora group um, by you know Wilfred Rattigan and Rupert Francis and the likes. And you can hear um, the corruption and the exposes by um, a member of the group, a former member of the group, Doc, um, Herbert Nelson, who's the cousin of Clovis Nelson. You're going to hear something, but hey, look here. We, uh, throughout our life, we never meet an honest liar yet. So you watch, you listen, and you decide. Um, part four is coming up shortly. So this is the end of part three. Yes. Have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica, Young Police Channel, out.